Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. When Gorilla started acting strangely, his caregivers discovered why. Bobo the gorilla's routine was usually typical for a primate. He'd forage, eat, and hang out with other creatures near him. But when he started acting in a way that was anything but normal, his caregivers sprung into action, and what they discovered about their good friend Bobo shocked and stunned them. Bobo Bobo was only two years old when he got to the Mafau primate sanctuary. He was orphaned by poachers who took his mother from him. After a few years, Bobo had turned from a scared orphan to a fully grown alpha male at the sanctuary. No poachers would mess with him now. Kind natured. Bobo may seem intimidating, weighing in at 300 pounds, but this gorilla has a sweet side and shows it to all the other apes and staff. Bobo was the alpha at the sanctuary and wouldn't be dethroned by anyone. He was the king and he wouldn't let anyone take his title. Alpha. One of Bobo's caretakers, Alyssa, explained. Younger males, Kibu and Nakamum, once challenged Bobo for his position. They were never successful and no longer attempt to take control. So when Bobo started acting differently, his caretakers were very concerned. What had changed? Strange behavior. The Mafau Sanctuary is funded by Ape Action Africa and houses over 300 primates that need a safe place. Alyssa primarily raised Bobo and since she knew his character so well, she immediately noticed when his behavior changed. She'd watch him closely and make sure no other primates were in danger. Hiding away Bobo would walk proudly around the enclosure as the king he is, but recently he became more antisocial and would hide away in the grass when they closed the gates to the sanctuary. Alyssa watched him closely and realized that Bobo was actually hiding something away from them. She needed to figure out what it was. Figuring it out Now that all the staff were concerned, they had to figure out what Bobo was hiding. Each primate that came to the shelter suffered from some kind of trauma. With this in mind, they had to figure out what was wrong with Bobo and act quickly. Alyssa was worried for the once great ape. Mafau Sanctuary With illegal bushmeat and animal trade increasing in popularity, Ape Action Africa funded the construction of Mafau Primate Sanctuary. They take care of apes in and around Cameroon and where they're based. All of the staff at the sanctuary are passionate about what they do. They'll do anything for the well-being of their primates. Watching Bobo The staff are trained well to ensure that they can take care of the various traumas that the primates suffer from. They do their best and come well equipped to handle most situations. Alyssa watched Bobo closely as soon as his behavior changed and was concerned at what he was hiding from them. What was in his hands? Looking for Bobo after Bobo finally left his long grass patch, Alyssa went in to take a closer look at what he'd been hiding from all of them. She didn't know what she'd find. After searching the grass thoroughly, she couldn't find anything. For a moment, she thought he wasn't hiding something. She then realized that he wasn't hiding it, but keeping it on him at all times. Living Thing Bobo was usually very friendly with the sanctuary staff, but whenever Alyssa tried to get close to him, he was quick to create distance between them. She eventually managed to get close enough to see what he was fussing over in his hands. Bobo wasn't being protective over some found object. He was tending to another living creature. Tiny Creature Bobo got spooked once again and headed off into the overgrown grass the moment he realized he was being watched. The crying creature in the ape's hand was too small for Alyssa to identify from a distance. She'd need to come up with a far smarter plan to work out what Bobo was up to. Fellow Primate The furry little animal getting poked and prodded by Bobo seemed perfectly content, resting in the giant gorilla's paw. 
This struck staff as odd, considering a rodent would be more likely to scurry away. Perhaps it's injured, she thought. Using a pair of binoculars, Alyssa could quickly tell it wasn't a rodent at all. The tiny creature was actually a primate, too. Paternal Instincts The sanctuary took care of so many apes that you'd think it might be expected that they'd lose track of one or two. But not at Mafau, which took great pride in the individual care they gave each and every animal. So if the small primate resting in Bobo's hand wasn't from the sanctuary, where did it come from? Uninvited Guest The primate they were studying was a Galago. Staff concluded that the creature had found its way into Bobo's enclosure from the forest surrounding the sanctuary. The Galago, also known as a bush baby, due to the crying sound they make, wasn't usually the kind of primate they took care of at Mafau. And they certainly wouldn't give the responsibility to a giant ape, even if he did treat the little creature like it was his own. Brave Little Thing The bush baby showed no fear of Bobo, moving around his body and spending time hopping around in an open, grassy area, before choosing to return to Bobo, said Alyssa. But she wasn't just taken aback by the special treatment the Galago was getting from the Bobo. A sighting of a wild bush baby was very rare indeed especially considering it shouldn't have been there at all. Night Monkey Bush babies are usually nocturnal, so it's very rare to see one, and even rarer to witness this kind of interaction, Alyssa continued. Galagos almost exclusively hunt and feed in the dark, so to see one being fed breakfast by a gorilla was one of the most fascinating things Alyssa had seen. And that's not the only rarity about the whole incident. Nature versus Nurture Wild primates and rescued ones seldom interact with each other like this. They're either at a sanctuary or they're in the jungle. We've never witnessed a wild primate interacting with a rescued one, said Alyssa. But the unique positioning of Mifau's enclosures by the forest made for a once-in-a-lifetime encounter between a tiny wilding and a giant friendly gorilla, which soon became a huge attraction to the other apes. The New Guy the little bush baby was happy to play in Bobo's arms, hopping off to explore the grass nearby, before returning to Bobo's hand, Alyssa explained. It didn't take long before the other apes in the group realized what Bobo had become so preoccupied with, and a few of the more curious ones moved in to take a closer look. Stay away! Bobo's groupmates were desperately curious, but he kept them all at a distance, making sure no one disturbed his new friend, said Alyssa. Understanding what the tiny guest needed, Bobo offered the Galago the chance to return to his natural habitat, lifting him up to the tree branch overhanging the enclosure. Alyssa was thrilled that they'd managed to capture the experience on camera and that all was well with the apes. Facebook Post Luckily, the staff at the sanctuary had captured every minute of the unique interaction on camera. They posted it to Facebook with the caption, our silverback gorilla, Bobo, made a surprising new friend this week, a wild bush baby. Caregivers discovered him cradling the tiny primate during their morning checks and were amazed to see him handling it with the utmost care. The video quickly went viral, garnering more than 2,000 comments and over 1.7 million views. People from all over the world and from all walks of life were touched by the heartwarming interaction between Bobo and his tiny friend. Most people were quick to point out that Bobo was displaying a characteristic that we could all learn from. Empathy These gorillas have a very nurturing and empathic nature. The human race could learn from these beautiful, thoughtful animals, one user wrote. Exactly why I love gorillas, because they're amazingly gentle giants who are extremely intelligent animals, another commented. That's why it's very important that this endangered species is protected. Under threat. Unfortunately, these great apes are under threat all over the Congo Basin due to the forest conversion to industrial agricultural projects. There are two species of gorilla, the eastern gorilla and the western gorilla. Each of them is divided into two subspecies, eastern lowland gorilla and mountain gorilla, and western lowland gorilla and cross-river gorilla. Highly intelligent. 
Gorillas are highly intelligent. They don't use tools as much as chimpanzees do, but wild gorillas have been seen using sticks to gauge water depth, bamboo as ladders to help infants climb, and recently gorillas have been seen for the first time using sticks to eat ants without being stung. Another sign of intelligence is the gorillas' impressive communication abilities, and they've been recorded making some 25 different sounds. A close relative. We share 98.3% of our DNA with gorillas, making them our closest relatives after chimpanzees and bonobos. Sadly, gorillas are among the world's most endangered animals. Charity organizations in Cameroon are hoping to change that, but as you can imagine, a sanctuary so large needs an even larger flow of cash to continue their work. They rely on volunteers and on donations from the public. Humble Beginnings Established in 1996, Ape Action Africa began as a UK charity called CWAF, or Cameroon Wildlife Aid Fund. The charity's main goal was to improve living conditions for primates housed at Mavog Betsy Zoo in Yawande, Cameroon. During 12 years of operation, CWAF expanded its mission to provide sanctuary for wild orphans of the illegal bushmeat trade like Bobo. Important Work Now with more than 300 primates under its care, Ape Action Africa is now one of the largest conservation projects of its kind in Africa. One established gorilla group of the Mafau Primate Sanctuary is known as Bobo's Group which consists of silverback, Bobo, two blackbacks, Kibu and Nakamum, three females, Jasmine, Jerry and Avishag, and her juvenile, Etofils. Awareness Bobo's rise to Internet fame has helped raise awareness about these animals' plights, and the charity groups who work hard every day to preserve Cameroon's natural heritage for future generations. Their work is vital. Besides the bushmeat trade, habitat loss is one of the other major threats to the long-term survival of Cameroon's primates. Cameroon has more than 20 million hectares of tropical rainforests, but it's disappearing quickly due to unsustainable foresting and poaching practices. But not all is lost. Conservation Although gorillas are still on the endangered species list, there's still hope. Sir David Attenborough, who first visited Cameroon in 1979, said, It's incredibly heartening to see how the efforts of so many different groups, communities, governments, NGOs have paid off. The threats to mountain gorillas haven't disappeared entirely, of course, so now the challenge must be to ensure that these achievements are sustained long into the future. Please spread the smiles by sharing these adorable best friends with your best friends.